You know, there is something called being in the present, being now. Like, supposing you've gone to a restaurant or you cook something special at home. When you're going to eat it, you're at that moment on that plate, isn't it? With the first spoon that you're putting, all your taste buds are being sent sensory feelings from your mind, isn't it? If you're driving, four-wheeler, two-wheeler, your mind is there with you right then. If it is not, there'll be a problem. If you go for shopping, and if you're absent-minded and just picking up anything, paying, and then suddenly say, where did I pick up this from? It has happened to some people. Or you picked it up, and after six months, you cleaning your cupboard and you say, my God, I had this also? This is not being in the present. Uh, similarly, being in the present is, who am I? That's not just this name and I'm a man or I'm a woman or I'm a girl or I'm a boy. I'm a parent, I'm a teacher. Who really am I? And coupled with that, you need to reflect upon, where am I? Like you're going to eat that food, you say, I, you know in your mind, I'm on my dining table, I'm going to eat my food. Or I'm in the Chinese restaurant and eating some Chinese food. So you know who you are, and you know where you are. Uh, similarly is the process of your, every moment of your day, <laughs> you have to perform, not like the bus driver who brought you here, you have to perform who you are. And you have to perform with who am I, where am I, ask this question, where do I want to go? Now, if you know where am I going to go, you will certainly, as per Vedanta, land up there, provided you're taking the steps towards that. And those steps are now being in the present. Where am I like? You're going to start a 100 meters race. Imagine school, annual day, and all the teachers are racing. You're going to take a 100 meters dash. It begins with first, you're warming up. When you're warming up, what are you doing? You're preparing your mind and your body towards this 100 meters dash. No? And then your run starts with the first step. And then you will certainly reach there. Some may reach way after others. Some will reach faster than others. But if you persevere, you will reach. Some may give up and say, I want you to reflect. Most of the things in our life today is uncertain. That's why you run to an astrologer. Tell me where will I be? What will what going to happen to me? Somebody tells you, you're looking great. You say, really? The next time you go to the washroom, you're looking at yourself. I'm looking great. And tomorrow when you come, you make sure I'm looking greater. So you know where you're going to be. One thing amongst everything, which is tremendous life of uncertainty, and that is what is what you're working for. This is Vedanta. You have one truth, and that truth is, <laughs> it sounds terrible on a Monday morning, but it's not terrible, it's a celebration, that I'm going to be dead. 
Isn't that a truth? Can you say, no, 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 not with me. The heavy not is you go to a funeral, you pray your prayers, you do all your respect. As you walk in, you meet some people who are outside. They may be little far off friends, far off neighbors, colleagues, just come to be there. And as you go inside, you find another group of people who are a little closer. Maybe the college, school, professional, closer people. As you go deeper inside, you find that the relatives. And then, as you're passing through each one of the stage, you're hearing from them. Who was she? What was she? How was he? And when you go to pay your respect, with a bouquet of flowers or just being there quietly, you see the face, that face is yours. What would you like your friends to talk about starts today, now. It is certain you're going to be dead. Look at it every event. It is certain you're going to have a report card day another two weeks, isn't it? So work now. It is certainly your children are going to go to 10, 12 and go out. It is your time today. So if you make your count this present moment, who am I? Where am I? So if you are behaving here as if you were at home, you become a misfit. And if you are at home, you're behaving like you're in the school, you're a misfit too. <laughs> Husband is wanting to hold your hand and you say, wait, 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 I have to correct this paper. Jalpanam, I'm saying it happens. <laughs> you know, there's a saying amongst the fight pilots, the combat pilots, when they're in the crew room, first thing in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock, 4.30, 4.45, is the MET briefing, and then the medical checkup, and then the professional briefing. Some may be taking off at 5 o'clock, 5.15. Sun has not risen. You're taking off into the dark sky. And you come back, even maybe most people have not even woken up from sleep. So there is a saying, you're in the crew room, you're getting briefing, and you're talking about girls or boys. You got fighter combat pilot girls as well as boys. And you're talking about boys and girls. And when you're with the boys and girls in a party or in a cafe, or in a bar, or a restaurant, you're talking about your combat flying. <laughs> then we are being misfit. You play the role where you are, 100%. And when you do that, this something beautiful happens. That sentence which keeps coming to your mind, I'm so busy, I don't know what to do. You're not being on time. That's all you're not being. If you are, you will find from somewhere the help will come. Somebody will make everything perfectly okay. And you will say, ah, I had a beautiful time. I did well. And when you do that, you will see, where am I going to go? Who am I? Where am I? Where am I going to go? You set your target. Have you realized today, wherever you are, whoever you are today, didn't you decide about it years ago? If you tell yourself, oh, it happened accidentally, it's not true. You did decide. You chose. You say, oh, that was just a thought. 
you're right it was a thought and that thought is the one which chooses your direction where am i going to go you have to choose today no i'm going to get married you have to choose today i'm going to have a baby you have to choose today i want to plan my christmas holiday desi mam is saying yes <laughs> you have to choose today no choose today where am i going to go would my people say along with me whether i'm dead or not wow it was nice being with this person or it was so good being with ma'am or with sir i learned so much or i learned one that thing i never thought about it how would that person learn that one thing which he she never thought about is because you never thought about it you thought about it today and you are presenting it to them in such an accelerating you know exciting and way that the child feels like accelerating i want to know more that's called learning to love to learn you have to be compassionate and very passionate about i want to know this i want to do this and when you do that automatically something will come out from you because all wealth is within you it's not out there remember the example vedantic example if i am the torchlight my light is on and i am looking at people looking at objects looking at the road looking at whether it is a snake or a rope remember i am forgetting i am the torch light i am only looking at is it a snake or a rope is it a road or is it going into ditch i am forgetting i am the torch light if you take the torch light and on an empty night sky switch it on you will see only the beam going up and then you say wow very powerful i never knew i had such power within me that's the power we have and that's the power you and i need to consolidate focus and say where am i going to go choose well one word of caution do not think of anything that you don't like we tend to do that people have got chicken puniyat you say i hope i don't get it you are already getting yourself into it conjunctivitis oh my god i don't want to look i might get infected you are already getting infected why because you are planting that seed in your mind you go to say bye bye to or say hello to a patient who is maybe your relative or a far off places somebody or a neighbor who is a cancer patient you say my god i hope i never get it why are you thinking about it i bought a ticket for my elder brother to come here it is supposed to be at 555 departure the first question he asked what if i miss the flight i said what are you thinking about it i never thought about it. you might miss the flight why would you miss the flight how can you miss the flight you will be there don't worry you will be there everything went up okay but you and i tend to do this you know why because you and i are not connected with that powerful beautiful positive self which is within us and we are occluded with the objects around us where the negativity come from desires cravings living untruthful life telling lies pretending not being true not being poor pure if you do that you will see automatically so live with that dignity of being an excellent human being we all are let us not forget who we are let us not forget where we are let's not forget where do we have to go you have a nice day and keep smiling thank you very much love you